All of these students in Kilcally's Chestnut Room are dancing, but where's the music? This is what's called a silent disco. The event is just one of many put on by YSU's Department of Student Activities. We um, brought in 200 pairs of wireless headphones and they had three different channels. And so we had three different DJs that were playing songs. So in the air, in the atmosphere of the Chestnut Room, it was silent. Depending on which DJ they were listening to, it lit up a different color. It was a really neat way to just try something different. Um, and I think it brought out some different students that maybe haven't come to events before. The silent disco is something that we just tried this past fall that was a big hit here. Director of Student Activities and Greek Life, Erin Driscoll, first arrived on campus back in 2002. She spent the next 10 years working in housing and residence life. We have about 900 students that live in our residence halls. And while there were activities that happened primarily during the day, during homecoming week, or there might be events at what's now the hub, um, it was pretty quiet on campus after hours, except for the students that lived on campus. It's definitely increased a lot. Graduate assistant James McGregor recalls less lively times on campus. We definitely didn't have as much promotion of events back then. Um, being that we're such a large commuter campus, we, we see a lot of struggle with students participating. When I first came here, I wasn't really involved. But that's clearly not the case today. Then I started to uh, do different events through my organizations, um, specifically the education program down there. and. I mean, everything just skyrocketed for me. A domino effect with scholarships and internships and meeting people on campus. Student programming assistant China Thompson will be graduating in May. She's been working with the activities office since she was a freshman. Campus life when I was a freshman, I think was, it was still what it is now. It's just that there's, we've added a lot more programming. We try to do something almost once a week now for students, whereas before, Things were kind of just getting started. Um, we now have established traditions in the fall and spring with certain activities. So many activities! Do step class? It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. Activities like the Fall Fire Fest and Federal Frenzy, a day-long music festival held in downtown Youngstown. It is a great way of getting students exposed to what the city has to offer um, and making the most of some of those venues downtown. Which in turn makes living on or near campus a more attractive option for potential students. As we've seen the city grow and downtown have more offerings, we've also been able to connect students to that. So um, I think sometimes it's easy for people to forget we're really just a staircase away. Student activities, this is Lori. The Office of Student Activities oversees all student organizations on campus, of which there are about 200 with almost 3,000 students involved. We serve as the home base on some of the administrative piece of things, but also the leadership development uh, portion of campus. So we run a leadership summit and a leadership retreat for those students, and the Emerging Leader Program is also run out of our office. So we're really trying to empower students with the ability to make things happen on campus and be a part of campus life. It gets them motivated to like, you know, how can I make my organization and grow this semester and what can we do? We also have started doing Penguin Nights, which is a collaboration with Kilcally Center. So we offer free late night programming on the weekends. It's really important to have nighttime programming for our students because otherwise, if they're here living on campus, there's not a lot open um, during that time on campus. We like to provide them with places to go, things to do, so you know they can take a break from that homework or if you know they wanna be with their friends, they're here with us doing something that's gonna be fun and could actually really benefit their experience at YSU. It's, uh, it's really an exciting time to see our campus continue to grow and head in the right direction. I know that a lot of my success has contributed to me being involved on campus.